Hey, it's Congressman Garrett Graves. Great day for Louisiana. After two years of fighting, we finally have won this thing. Duplication of benefits will be the law of the land by this weekend. Most importantly, our flood victims, we've got money coming, gonna have you much closer to whole than you've ever been getting rid of this ridiculous duplication of benefits uh, policy, and more importantly, getting hundreds of millions of dollars in your pockets, helping you to get back in your homes in some degree of normalcy. Very, very excited about this. So again, we're in the end zone. This is gonna be the law of the land this weekend. The Senate, after it passed the House three different times, the Senate has finally taken up this bill and passed it today. President Trump is gonna sign it by this weekend, and we are gonna have entirely new policies in place. Our best guess is by the third week in November, we should have some money flowing into your pockets. This bill has a lot of other great stuff in there for Louisiana. So for example, uh, the schools in East Baton Rouge, Livingston, Ascension parishes are paying tens of millions of dollars in FEMA penalties. That's money that otherwise could be going to, I don't know, educating our kids. And so we have been able to provide relief from those penalties. So that money will be reinvested back in our schools, back in our kids, back in a better education, which is what we obviously want to happen. It provides a new arbitration process whereby if uh, someone is, is appealing to FEMA, they don't go back to FEMA, there's an option to go to the Civilian Board of Contractor Appeals, where you can actually have an independent entity. You will be shocked to learn that whenever appeals were given to FEMA, FEMA was often saying, look at that, we got it right the first time. No, again. And so this provides an alternative path. Uh, we have provisions in there that allow for more FEMA funds to be used to help build flood protection, hurricane protection type projects. We have provisions in there that allow for uh, more funds to be provided for families that have uh, folks with disabilities. We ran into some real problems with some of the uh, uh, services provided or lack of services provided to, uh, we're working with the trach moms, we're working with the autistic community and others in our flood and found that, that, that really the agencies were not equipped to handle the special needs of some of these communities with disabilities. And so we have provisions in there on that. Um, we have uh, another great idea. So remember shelter at home. Remember what a disaster that was in many cases. Uh, people were coming in and ripping out all the, 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 the fixtures that a shelter at home put in as soon as you went to rebuild your house. We said, well, why are we putting in temporary fixtures? Let's do things that are actually going to be complementary to your long-term recovery. So we put provisions in there on that. Why are we spending $150,000 per trailer when we can go buy them down the street for $28,000 the same unit? We put provisions in there allowing for that type of local flexibility. Uh, why is Sheriff Ard in Livingston Parish not getting reimbursed whenever he provided a housing solution for his deputies that was like one-tenth the cost of what the federal government wanted to do? We put provisions in there solving that problem. What about accommodating pets whenever people uh, have to go to shelters and there's no way to facilitate or, or shelter the pets and some people are saying, well, you know what, I'm not leaving without my pets, so I'm staying home in my flooded house. We put provisions in there on that. Uh, the I-12 wall, uh, what about the fact that it was holding back water and exacerbating flooding in some cases? Uh, we put provisions in there to change that. Submerged roads where FEMA was refusing to pay for the damages to roads that had been underwater for extended periods of time. We fixed that. All in all, this is a huge win for Louisiana. This is common sense provisions, what's often you don't see coming from Congress. Literally taking the ideas that y'all had and the experiences that we watched happen in the August flood and turned them into policy solutions. This is gonna result in safer communities. It's gonna result in proactive measures helping to make sure that we're spending millions before a disaster, not billions after, and so saving significant taxpayer dollars in ending this fleecing of America.